To start this episode, Colm heads off to Wexford to meet a strawberry farmer who has spent years trying to extend his season from the short six week period to nearly nine months of the year. Nowadays, it's the likes of Kildare, Mead, Dublin and Wexford, where most of the strawberries here are grown. The industry has expanded significantly from the days when it was largely a field-based crop. And the season would only last six weeks during the summer. Now the season lasts between seven and nine months. Over the last decade, farmers like Jimmy Kearns have been working very hard to extend their season. I want to find out how he's managed to achieve this in difficult times. So the glasses and polytunnels are key to extending the growing season? Yeah, the, the glass house is, is probably uh, the best uh, one. We, we prefer the glass, but it's so expensive okay. uh, to build glass now. It's, it's about a million and a half to two million a hectare. Wow. Uh, so it's a big investment. If you notice overhead, we have lights which we fool the plant along from Christmas. We use night brake lights for to pull the trusses out of the plant. We also have uh, CO2, which we feed into the house. It increases the yield and the quality of the plant and the quality of the fruit by 20%. We're using that type of technology all the time, more and more now. So what actually the consumer will be getting is a product that uh, is just grown naturally. Our strawberries have a distinct flavour, but this can be an ever-changing issue for growers like Jimmy. So when it comes to extending the season, growers are now in the search for varieties that can last longer and maintain the unique Irish taste, no matter when they are grown. So you must be always on the lookout for the next new variety. Yeah, we're, we, we try at least two to three different varieties every year. And uh, we have a new variety now called Malling Ace. It seems to be a good variety has the same taste, flavour as the centenary, but it produces longer. It's a never bearer. So a never bearer plant is a plant that produces plant, uh, strawberries for long periods of time, uh, up to six months. Another way that Jimmy and other growers have tried to extend the season is to change the way they're growing. Instead of old methods of growing in a bag on the ground, they've changed to growing on a tabletop system to extend their season and productivity. So how does the tabletop system improve strawberry production? As you see behind even the boys planting, everything is up high, we're working on trolleys, the picking is, is a lot easier uh, and all the pickers just work their way through and pick it off into their trolley and off, so it, it makes it a lot easier. How often are you replanting the strawberry plants? This tunnel behind us here, this will be double cropped uh, this year. So that's a really good way of extending the season and ensuring you have productivity for seven months. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we put our first crop in here, uh, say in January, it will be there until the end of June. Uh, we discarded of it then and then we plant in here and start of July and that will run straight through to the end of October, November. So what other challenges are facing strawberry growers at present? Yeah, I suppose the, the biggest uh, problem that's facing us here and every other strawberry grower I suppose in Ireland is the fact that uh, years ago we used to get our peat uh, from Offaly here but now we grow our strawberries here in Coir. Uh, and our coir has to come in now in containers from Holland. So with the price of diesel and with the price of everything gone up uh, over the last number of years, uh, it's going to be very hard to sustain that over the, over the coming years. In 2018, Jimmy lost almost 200,000 euros in strawberries. With an extended spell of hot weather, Jimmy and his team struggled to get the crop picked before they spoiled. The berries were ripening too quickly. He simply didn't have the staff to pick the fruit. Labour is a key, a key issue to the quality of the fruit, to the cultural work, to everything. But it's, it's nearly impossible to get people to do this. Uh, uh, we, we have to go outside Europe uh, to get people that want to do this. So if Europe's becoming less of an option, where are you sourcing this high quality uh, labour? At the moment we have, we have options in, in uh, Turkey, China and India. Okay. We have people there that want to come here to work. Uh, well, unfortunately, we can't get the, the permits. Now, last week, we've been lucky to be granted uh, 10 permits, which we applied for six, seven months ago. And it could take another two months before we have the people here. Of course. So my, my season will be yeah. winding down by then. So it's, it's, it's a nightmare trying to get staff. So labour costs are only one challenge, but the cost of production is increasing for the whole industry. The last couple of years has been tough, especially this year. The covert really, 
was a tough was a tough challenge. I think the the stress of it. Yeah. Uh, but Touchwood, we we got through that, mm. and and now we're facing uh, price increases and stuff. So it is a challenge. Think the last three years has been really really tough for producers. It's clear what it takes for growers like Jimmy to produce these products. It's hard work and time that he and growers all over the country has to put into producing the local strawberry. And this can all be done now that they've been able to extend their strawberry season.